Hello everybody, it's Laura. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today, we are going to do a um, bloom Dutch combination. So, if you look back at my videos, uh, in the playlists, you'll, you can see the Dutch pours, you can see the bloom pours, and this is going to be a combination of those. So we're going to start out with our pillow of color place, uh, white, right out of the paint can, and... We're going to spread it around a little bit like we usually do. Nice and simple. So I, I saw this. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the gal who did it. I will put it in the description. Credit where credit is due. Um, I saw it and I really liked it. And it's a combination of the Bloom and the Dutch, which I love the Dutch, but it's a totally different um, consistency of paint. And um, therefore, you kind of have to keep all your paints in two different consistencies if you want to do the Dutch and the Bloom separately. But in this instance, you just use the Bloom consistency kind of blow it around and therefore you don't need that thinner consistency paint for the Dutch part of it so it I thought I would give that a try because it's really I mean it's not a pain but it's not fun having to have two different sets of paint so I thought if I like this that this may be a nice um, combination that gives me the best of both worlds so we're gonna see how it goes together I'm gonna practice and see what happens so I'm just trying to get it kind of along the sides because we're really not going to be um, spinning this I might spin it a little but I don't think so So, we just want to get the sides a little bit. Okay. Good. We are ready to go. So, what you do, I've got Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet Paint. Remember, I always like to start with a paint on the bottom. So, we're going to do... one in the center and then we're going to do one two three Four. One, two, three, four. So we got to get two over here. Okay. So that's basically our, I'll call it a pinwheel, I guess. Um, next is this little piggy lakeside is a pigment. And so what's going to happen is when we blow this out, it's going to cover up just about the entire canvas in one way, shape, or form. I love these two colors together. That purple and that lakeside is really pretty. Okay. 
Okay. Next is this little piggy tail feather. Ooh, what did I mix? Okay, I did. Okay. This is um tail feather. It's a pretty deep turquoise. This video might take us a while just because we're putting down so many colors in so many um, blobs here instead of doing one bloom like we usually do. We have seven going on here, although not only the center one is going to get the cell activator on it. Now I have copper, which is a paint, because we've put down one paint, two piggies, so it's time to put another paint. And I think this is kind of going to kind of get us a peacock feather look. Love of peacock feathers, they're so pretty. Not being real neat here, the video that I was watching, uh, the lady actually used a syringe, she sucked up the paint into a a syringe and that way when she put it down it was nice and neat and not kind of sloppy like you're seeing I got going on here uh, this one is this little piggy sea glass And if you want, I'm not going to do it in this instance, but if you want, you can also do the same colors. You can kind of go out here and do a line, a line, a line, a line, a line, and a line, kind of a curve. And you'll see what's going to happen um, as we get this paint moving. This is this little piggy ore. It's a pretty gold. But what's going to happen is all this paint is going to spread outward. So you can choose to lay it down any way you want. With those lines or without them. I think that copper and the gold together is going to be pretty. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And this uh, one that I'm doing right here, I think, is an 8x8. Eight eight. Let's see. Yes, an 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, so that was... Paint piggy piggy, paint piggy piggy, and now we want to put a paint as our last color. So this is Liquitex Brilliant Purple. Now this is going to be pretty when we put our black cell activator on top of it, because you always kind of want to... You know, if you've got light colors, 
you want to use a black cell activator. If you have dark colors, you want to use a white cell activator or a lighter color cell activator so that you get that contrast and you can see it really nicely. So in this instance, we're going to use black. Okay, that's it. Now, what I want to do is I want to tap that out, get rid of it, and tap this out and get rid of it. We don't want that just showing up as a little blob there. All right, now we're going to get our skewer, pop our bubbles, it's just a few. I'm excited to see how this color combination turns out. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty already. Okay, bubbles are gone. Now we're going to get our cell activator. stir it up now remember we're only putting this in the center one and I've got quite a bit there but that's okay because it can carry over onto these other colors so I'm going to come down straight down and kind of blow that out good enough. Now we're going to go Yeah. Blew too hard there. quite what I wanted. I think that blower is a little bit too powerful. And I think we are going to have to do some spinning because we have a lot of paint in the middle. Oh, but the colors are beautiful. I kind of want to blow that out a little bit more right there. Yes, we are going to spin. Too much paint on there. Can't have that. It'll crack when it dries. Um, I still don't like that right there. That's a little bit... Let's try the turkey baster on that. Okay. 
Um, I think we are going to modify it just a little bit. Kind of get some coming out on the petals. So much for our peacock look here. That did not happen. It's what I thought it was going to do. inside on some of these get our petals remember you always want to be going to a center point yeah we got a lot of paint in the center Break that up a little. Wherever you have a boo-boo, modifying is a great thing. You just scrape it out of existence. <laughs> We're doing here. Absolutely no doubt in my mind we have to spin. And you know what? This is the fun thing about painting. You never know what you're going to get. You're never going to know. You kind of have to look at it and think, okay, what can I do here to make this better? What can I do here to fix a problem? And that's what you do. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, we are going to spin, I think. Let's take one last look. We've got beautiful cells in the center. Now, one thing I did notice, let me check. Oh, my boards were hitting because I was leaning on the side of my box here. All right, here we go. See what happens. Oh wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Now we're going to spin the other way. Oh, and the spinning just makes it come alive. All right. 
You need a little bit of help right here getting it over the edge. So let's drag some paint right there. We'll spin again. Gorgeous. And we, we've got cells coming up out here where some of the black went over it. Very pretty. Um, we've got a couple white dots poking up where the pillow is coming up through. I do love the colors. I wish I would have used more of the blues and less of the purple. Purple often does that. It tends to take over. And this is why it's good, um, and part of the reason why I do these um, videos is because this gives me a documentation of what I did. So if I do something that I really, really love, all I have to do is go back and watch the video, and I can recreate it. I know what my colors are. I know in what order I put them. So it's always, um, if you're not gonna do a video, you can just write it down. You know, you can number your paintings on the back and say, I'm number one, this is what I did. This is what I used. This is the order I used them in. And it makes for a good documentation of what you did because trust me you're not going to remember you're going to look at something and say how did I do that it was gorgeous and you won't remember the colors you won't remember the order you won't remember anything but this is absolutely beautiful we're getting some beautiful cells in here I'm just getting the edges that is done so I'm going to spin it one more time Definitely not exactly like the video that I saw. Um, she can well, it sort of is. She had the, the six kind of spokes coming out, and, and we do kind of have that here, but she didn't spin it, and I had too much paint in the center that I had to spin, otherwise it was going to crack as it dried. And you don't want that. But I think that's good. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to take you down off of here so you can see up close. Very different way, but a nice way to get a bloom swipe. Look at that gold and that copper in there. Beautiful. The lakeside and the tail feather. Oh, look at that gold. That's just gorgeous. A little bit of gray. We got gray in there because the black mixed with the white. But that's okay. I really like it. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, drop any questions that you have down in the comments. And give the video a thumbs up, please. I would appreciate it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.